Do you think head to head is the final fatal error that's going to do WCW in? <laughs> I think it's more indicative of the front office politics that are employed by everybody in Atlanta and WWF. To be honest with you, I I, I think it's just I, I I think it's I honestly I think Ted Turner called their bluff and I I, I think they're going to die. I I think he, Eric Bischoff went in there and went, yeah, you know, Ted, we did 1.9. <laughs> yeah, you know that ECW, they can't do shit. And Jim Crockett went out of business, member. That's a jerk off you bought it from. And you know, I just had my hair today, Ted. And I can really do some things with the Atlanta Hawks and everything. And you know, give me a couple of What, Ted? Oh, fits to the 3.9? Well, he's on Monday nights on National, and we're not. But you know what? Oh, uh, yeah, we can do Monday nights, but you'll never give us Monday nights. Oh, you will. <laughs> and, then, and then you know what happened? He went back to his booking committee, and here's what happened. Hogan sat there and went, who do I beat on Monday night? <laughs> Kevin sat there and watched, and Ric Flair said, let's turn Alex right heel so I can get laid by 19-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> and not one person sat there and said, Holy shit, are we going to get our asses kicked? <laughs> Except for Bischoff, who's probably right now sending out his resume to every production studio in California. <laughs> and if I were him, I'd do it fast. I think they are going to get their asses so fucking royally kicked, they ain't going to know what hit them. And not because they can't go head to head with this. And not because they not because they can't if they would pool their resources, they can't give it a good try. And not because if they really wanted to, they couldn't design everything from new graphics things to new announcers to to, to, to to a different format to everything. I think they can. I just think they're too concerned with their own personal business. One guy just wants to beat everybody that's over six foot five. One guy one guy in the committee wants to sit there. One guy wants to sit there and criticize everybody else. And one guy just wants to get laid because he's forty six years old. <laughs> If they, if they get their shit together, they might have a shot, but they don't, and they never will, because they're tolerated that way. Bischoff should go in there and fire everybody, who should fire himself, but that's the only chance they have. I think head-to-head, -head, I think they're going to get massacred. I think they're going to be so royal, they, I mean, they, they're going to get stomped so fucking bad, they even know what hit them. I think Ted's going to sit there and go, okay, I gave you a chance. Here's what we're going to do. Georgia Champ, we're going to keep the WCW name, but it's going to be like the old Georgia Championship Wrestling. He's going to bring Ole Anderson back as the booker. They're going to take a whole bunch of guys out of Jody Hamilton school, and they'll keep Sting or one other guy at over 100 grand a year, and everybody else is going to be working for 75 bucks a night. And they'll do a couple TV tapings a week, and they'll have Thunder and Lightning as their tag team champions. And they truly won't give a shit because they'll be on at 6:05 on Saturday nights for one hour, and they'll get and they'll, and they'll get a decent little rating for the 10 grand it's going to cost them to, to produce a show at a local venue in Atlanta when he gives away free tickets. That's what it's going to end up being. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll be a success. I just don't see it.